I'll never work in. <sighs> sure. I'm heading back to Washington soon, right after the concert. Makes sense. Not much else to do here. I'm gonna store most of the choir room stuff in my apartment. I figure with Emma, they're all alone. At least it'll be really well organized for when we have to bring it all back. I packed up most of the stuff, but I need a little help with the trophies. Why well, do you gotta move the trophies? Why can't they just stay in the case? Uh, it's not our choir room anymore, Finn. But those trophies represent everything we've, we've worked so hard to achieve for three years of the blood, the, the tears, the sweat. If we take those down, that's like surrendering. Look, it's not surrendering. We lost. Can we just cut the crap? What? Can we just cut the crap? Just say it. Okay, you want to punch me in the face. I, I know you think it's my fault that we blew it. You never would have let us leave that stage. You know, maybe you want to punch me in the face. I wasn't there. I deserted you guys. I've been beating myself up about it, too. Then I talked to Emma. I should have been there for them. This is all my fault. You can't blame yourself. You can't blame anyone, really. A young girl cracked under the pressure of a culture obsessed with body image. If you're gonna blame somebody, you can blame Valerie Bertinelli, but first, I made you a special pamphlet. I get that you're disappointed, but I put you in charge of the club for better or worse because you've always been someone who knows that in every loss, there's an even greater win. I'm sorry, Mr. Shu, but I'm having a hard time seeing the win here. It's because you're only thinking about the loss. What happened on that stage was five minutes of the time you spent running the club. What about the weeks of, of, of work and imagination that went into getting ready for it? Yeah, that part was awesome. But no, you were awesome. I mean, that number was amazing. I could have never come up with that. You came back home because you were looking for direction. Well, you know what? You found it in that classroom. What are you saying? That the things we enjoy are usually the things we're really good at. And as teacher of the year, I think I'm pretty qualified to tell you that you are very, very good at teaching. So he, what, do you think I should be a teacher? When was the last time you felt this good about something? Had this much direction? Cared this much about something? You really think I'd be a good teacher? A great one. Hey, Mr. Shu. Don't take the trophies down. You can clear everything else out, but just leave the trophies. <laughs>